Welcome back. So every year I do this new year, new me thing where I set forth and I create goals for myself. And then the rest of the year, I work on them. Uh, and when I say start of the year, I always start my birthday. It's the first week of July. After my birthday, I take the rest of July off and I just do whatever the hell I want as long as I've made good progress for the year. So last year I had two financial goals and one physical. Uh, I got close to my physical goal of showing my abs, but I didn't make it. So it doesn't, you know, I made progress, but I didn't make it there. Uh, my financial goals was to get my mortgage paid off. It got paid off. Uh, I put every dollar I made almost last year into paying it off just to get out from under that debt. Uh, and then my other was to build up a $10,000 nest egg in my savings account. That didn't work all the way out because it took too long to get the mortgage paid off. So one all the way paid off, one successful, one unsuccessful, one close to successful but didn't make it. All right, so the last three weeks I have been allowing myself to really just be... I did what I want. I stopped exercising for a couple of weeks. I haven't been doing my steps. I've just been really like, it's almost like a vacation for a few weeks. And then last week, the, the third off week, I spent working in the shop every day, 10, 12 hour days to fulfill a Kickstarter, which is how I'm gonna start my financial year this year. Okay, so that's getting you caught up on the system that I use. Let's talk about some more specifics for this year moving forward. I have at my lowest this past year during a fast and completely empty, I got down to 187, which for me, that's the lowest I've been in 30 years. Uh, felt pretty good at it, but it still didn't have my abs showing. So, I don't know where I need to be to get my abs showing. So goal number one this year is going to still be getting my abs to show up properly. Goal number two is going to be a financial goal, and it's going to be to build up $50,000 in my stock market account. And that's using stocks to grow and also whatever money I can throw at it to invest. This is going to be my savings because guys, this is what I do. I run a small woodworking shop and I'm semi-retired. So I think it would be kind of neat to make some financial learning decisions and investment in my future. What if I live to be 100 years? Oh, I don't have enough money to run until I'm 100 years old. I'm barely making it now. So this is just planning for the future where I don't have to work so hard and I can still focus on my training. So goal one is my abs. Goal two is to see if I can build up to 50000 in my stock market account. Uh, right now, I have 13000 in there. That's what I've got. And then I think goal three should be something that has to do with my social media. Growing maybe my YouTube channel to... I want to set a realistic goal, 15,000. I'm aiming for 15,000 subscribers. So I'll start adding more content uh, and I'll start sharing my content to different places and it'll actually be a proper push. Up until now, it's just been what it's been. People come in, they like my videos, they subscribe, yay. I always at the end of my videos say, if you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. So that's a thing that I do. I'm going to have to do it more. Uh, the rule is still in place that I cannot cut my hair until my abs are all the way back. Now you remember, I got close about a month and a half ago. Check this picture out. And then after that, by the end of uh, everything, I was still pretty close, but I took my time off because I've been pushing for that goal for a year. Um, and Sometimes you just have to take some you time, really. During my off time, though, I just weighed in 212.6 pounds, which is up like, 
man, uh, that fast I ended at 187, I refed to about 195. Um, and, and then I started working on trying to add a little bit of muscle growth, but it's not, I haven't been able to add a whole lot of muscle yet, but I've been adding a little and my muscles are more full. Anyways, whatever. I've at least put on 15 solid pounds of just fat and everything else. Now this is also a very full weight. I knew that today I was starting. So last night I ate like a damn pig. Um, but I wanted to show you this body in all of its crooked ass glory right now. So I'm going to move a step forward under the light a little bit better. I want you to be able to see what I'm working with. And I want you to know that I'm not ashamed that I gained a little weight. Everybody goes ups and downs. They, they yo-yo. Now, if you're yo-yoing regularly, then you've got a problem. But I knew I was going to gain weight as soon as I said I'm taking time off. I'm going to eat sweets if I want. I'm going to do this if I want. I'm going to sit on my ass if I want. All of that was a conscious decision. So this is not an accident. This is fat. This, you see this? This is fat. This is fat. And I'm going to do something I don't really like to do, but I'm not going to hold my stomach tight. I'm just going to let it hang like that, and I'm going to jiggle my fat so you can see it. Look at this. See that? That is a lot of fat. My back don't look so bad, but I don't have very much muscle definition at all back there. And this way you can see how long this fucking hair is getting. Which me with long hair is kind of shitty anyway, because right here is like a thin spot that I can't personally see, but y'all can see on camera, and that fucking pisses me off. Anyways, anyways, so... This video is just a, here's what's coming this year kind of thing. And I'm starting this month, August, with a new training menu that's a little bit extreme, but for me, not that extreme. So here's my training menu to start out this year. That's my big old belly. Sorry, had to do it for my daughter. She's going to look and watch this video later. She's up north now, so I miss her. Anyways, first off, steps. Simple, 30,000 a day. Gotta do it. Technically, it's gonna be most days closer to 40 because I intend to do the walk from here to the in-laws and back twice. Y'all know I've done that before. It's a lot of walking. I'm gonna do it again, but that's not it. So 30,000 steps, okay. Also, 5,000 punches every day on the back. 30,000 steps, 5,000 punches. Those are two things that I have to do every day. Then, only on days that end in Y, as a dad joke, I'm gonna do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and I'm going to work with 10 and 15 pound dumbbells for 30 minutes every day, various exercises so that I can get my arms pretty well adjusted. Okay, that's gonna be the August training menu. 30,000 steps, 5,000 punches, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 30 minutes of weight training every day seven days a week and i'm kicking this off with a water fast i'll probably go for a week we'll see i might go for two we'll see where my weight's at after uh, but the training menu is for the entire month of august whether i'm fasting or not and it's good to know what you're going to be doing whether you're fasting or not so this is the first in my new year new me series and I might update every month, I might update every few months. I will be posting videos regularly that are not to this series, but they could be somehow tied in, you know. Uh, and that's it for now, guys. If you like the video, please, as I always say, like, comment, 
subscribe. And you know what? Share it with your friends because I want to try to build up my subscriber base. Share it with people you think might like my particular style of video. And thank you for hanging out.